All right, so I'm here with Brother Daniel and Brother Greg. They just are fresh out of jail in what, Chandler? Chandler. Yeah, Chandler Police Department. Brother Seguro was there as well. Uh, you wanted to start out telling us what happened, Daniel? Okay, so for me, I was with my uh, soul winning partners and we were knocking some doors. And the managers came with a man um, while we're soul winning. And there was a man who was complaining that some, some of the soul winners came up to him and he didn't like it. He was saying that they were that they were rude and so forth. The managers were telling were telling us to leave and they're gonna call the cops. The woman who at the door we were with, the woman we were talking to at the door, she said several times to the manager that they that she wants us there. That they're Christians, they want she wants to hear from us. And so we went there, that person didn't get saved, but we kept moving on and we ended up knocking uh, go to the next building. We we had we were well with his team also and we had it where my team was knocking the the, the doors on top, second floor, and his were knocking the first floor. And so what happened was when I was knocking on the second floor, I heard my name being called, Daniel, Daniel. And then I go down because they, they were calling me and, um, and there was a woman police officer there. And so right from the start, she was very aggressive for when I came to her and saw her. So she was, and she was aggressive. She called the other two women who were still at the door and called them over and we all came down. And she was telling, she was asking for all of our names, for our IDs and so forth. And and that she was and she was trying to get all the information from us at that point and soon later another police officer comes over who was a, a man police officer and he and I, I i say something to him a sentence or two and then he can he says he calls me over just talked to him. i was more calm they were you know there was those more uh, aggressive with the women so i was acting as a calm demeanor so he calls me over just to talk to him to tell him my side of what happened and while i'm doing that um when i while i'm following him you know two of the women that are with me followed also so then the, the female police officer grabbed her, grabbed her name's Debbie, right? Grabbed yeah. her while she was following me, you know, to go with this with the, with the other police officer. Right. And tackles her down or grabs her and slowly so brings her down. So hold on, she grabs her from behind? The, the side or behind. But did she warn her that she was going to do that? Did she say, hey, stop? I, I heard no warning. I, she just, did, I just, think she did. Did she warn her? Yeah, I think she said, uh, you know, stop. Like She, she said stop? She, she's like, you know, I'm... I'm you know, getting out of here. I'm like, I, I'm not trespassing. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm leaving. When supposedly, isn't that what they wanted you guys to do anyway was leave? Yeah. And then she starts walking away yep. and she gets tackled? Now, well, I will say okay. this. I never got any, I never was once asked to leave by the police officers. They never told me once you can leave now or you're trespassing, get out or get arrested. Nothing like that. There is, and, and if you look at my, um, what the citation I have, the ticket told me, I was told by the man to come, you know, because he wanted to talk to me. And, and you was, went with him. I went with him. She asked for my name. I gave him my name, and later on, they asked for my ID. There was, I didn't know disobey anything they told me to do, so that that's a I say a bogus charge, and so that's how it was. And so then, yeah, the woman police officer she would, she took the woman down. She called the other one over. They handcuffed her, and they're very aggressive with her, and then they they took her away, and they had all of us sit down, and yeah, so and it was, so it was very. So she's very just bad. walking away, and and she wasn't even like fleeing the scene because she was following you and yes. a cop yeah she was following a different cop and got tackled yes yeah. exactly <laughs> what in the world yeah so. so so basically from my point of view um um the first confrontation we had with a resident that didn't want us there was us just knocking on his door you know giving him an invitation to church and he said hey you guys aren't allowed to be doing this and in the entire complex you know um you need to leave and I said, well, you know, actually it's uh, up to, you know, a tenant by tenant basis whether, you know, we're trespassing or not. You know, and if you don't want us here, then we'll leave and go to the next door. You know, that's what the Supreme Court has ruled. We're not right. soliciting. We're just handing out information. We're not asking for money. And he, he just, you know, didn't like us, didn't like uh, what we were doing. He probably just hates God and, you know, hates church people. And basically it was you and Catherine that were supposedly so rude to him. Yeah. When that's all that happened was just that calm conversation. Yeah. You know, I'm not rude to people when I'm out soul winning. If they say, hey, I'm not interested, then I say, okay, all right, have a nice day, and I go on to the next door. But he just didn't like us. And, um, you know, so we kept going, and um, we had finished our building, and then we came, and, and we're coming up right behind Daniel and um, his group to find out where we could uh, go next. And I uh, just happened to hand an invitation to the lady who was the apartment complex manager. And uh, she was like, oh, no, actually, well, we're trespassing all of you. 
And, you know, to the best of my knowledge, you know, from experience in these types of situations, is that it's not up to the apartment complex manager to determine whether you're trespassing or not, you know. We have documentation that says the Supreme Court's ruled that it's by, you know, up to the, each individual tenant, you know. And who like they want to have visit them and who they want to talk to or whatever, yeah. Right, and, you know, it's not like it was a gated community that we, like, snuck into, you know. Um, it's open to the public. And so we just kept going about our business, knocking doors, because we, you know, <clears throat> a lot of apartment complex managers just make stuff up if they don't like you, and, um, you know, they could try and make, say, like, oh, it's against the law, do you need to leave, but it's not really against the law. So we just kept going. Then, um, next thing we know, I uh, approached, um, you know, a young woman and a young man that were walking to their apartment and giving them the gospel just on a walkway. Daniel was up upstairs at an apartment door giving the gospel, and um, I get approached by the police officer, the, the woman police officer, who's the sergeant, and uh, she just cut right into our conversation, you know, totally ruined my chance to get these people saved, and uh, she was like, is anyone else with you? And so I, I called Daniel down. Um, and when she interrupted, the people you were talking to wanted to talk. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they were nice enough. Um, they were, you know, telling me about their experience with the, with God. Um, but basically, she, you know, first thing, she wanted all of our IDs, you know. And to the best of my knowledge, you know, I don't have to just give my ID to a police Of course officer. not, because this isn't Nazi Germany or the Soviet Union. You don't have to carry ID. You have to carry a driver's license because you're driving a car. You don't need ID just to exist or walk down the street. Right. You just have to give them your name and your date of birth and if she, they have a reason to ask for it. Mm -hmm. And she didn't say, hey, you know, you guys are under arrest. You guys are being detained. So, you know, I, I just remained silent. I was like, no, like, I'm not giving you my ID, you know. It seemed like the other people in our group were, you know, kind of wishy-washy. They weren't sure. Um, Debbie, that was the older lady, right? Yes. Yeah, she seemed to know what was up. Like, she definitely, like, was not going to cooperate, but she... She was just way too argumentative. and um, Well, I don't blame her. I mean, she's out sharing the gospel, and the cops are coming and yep. shutting it down. I mean, they're wicked for doing that. Yeah. I'm argumentative, too, when they show up and try to shut me down from doing the Lord's work. Right. You know, I, I agree, but, <laughs> yeah. like, uh, I wouldn't have been that, like, aggressive about it. Like, not physically aggressive, but just, you know, because I knew it would have led to a situation where, you know, I get tackled to the ground. So I just tried to... You know, peacefully open up the documentation I had and, you know, try and show them and explain to them what we were doing and tell them about, you know, Supreme Court rulings. And uh, she didn't care. She took the piece of paper out of my hand. And so she stole documentation from me. Um, well, by the way, I've dealt with that exact woman cop before. Because I got there, like, right after you guys left. Because I got there as fast as I could, but I think I got there right after you guys left. Yeah. And I walked up and, and chewed that lady out hard. But I recognized her. We've dealt with her before. so She looked like a total dyke. Like yeah, oh yeah. Shoulders were just way too broad. Yeah. Um, but, you know, she was like, uh, you know, just asking for our, our ID, saying we all had to sit down. And, um, you know, I, I was the only one that didn't give her my ID or my name. And um, another cop comes over. And he's basically like, all right, so here's the deal. You know, you're either going to give me your, your ID or I'm going to have to physically take it from you. And after just seeing this lady get tackled to the ground, I, I didn't want that to happen. But I, I appreciated how civil well, they'll, I mean, yeah, they'll, me. they'll kill you. I mean, they'll <laughs> beat you, taser you. Who knows what they'll do, yeah. Yeah, and, it, and um, so, but I, I appreciated how he opened up you know, a book with Arizona State statues and, and cited me a law that oh, said, he was, like... Oh, he was so loving as he <laughs> stole your liberty. He was so loving as he stopped you from going door-to-door -door telling people about the gospel. That's right. Right. It's like... Well, I'm from <laughs> Florida, so I don't know if, you know, maybe the Arizona State law is different. I know yeah. it's not legal to just have to give your ID for any old reason. No, you don't, don't have know. to show ID here. But no. he cited me a law that said you can't lie and say, um, give your, give an officer a false name when identifying you. Yeah, but that's not the same as having to show ID. Right. Not being allowed to give a false name is not a requirement to show ID. Right. So he was basically lying to you. Yeah. Kindly and gently. 
Yeah. <laughs> but I guess that but just, just being put under pressure like that, I was just yeah. like, all right, whatever. Here's my yeah. ID. And then, you know, we all... So basically, I mean, we did obey. We gave them our IDs. You know, we sat down like they told us to. And, you know, next thing we know, we're getting handcuffed and, and charged with uh, trespassing and... Even though you cooperated with everything, they never asked you to leave or anything. They just came and just arrested you. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if wow. if the, a cop came up to me and said, "Hey, you guys are trespassing. You need to go," I'd been like, "Oh, okay, officer, we're we're gone." You know. But if it's just an apartment complex manager, you know, they could just be making that up. And you know, as far as I know, that is, you know, that is against the law. Well, and 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 here's the problem, though. Okay, the problem is that it more than half of the doors in our area are either an apartment, a gated community, HOA, or whatever. So if we actually said, well, we're not gonna go soul winning in apartment complexes, or HOA, or gated communities, we'd be knocking less than half the doors. We literally would have ran out of doors by now. So what, what'd you yeah. see out there, Brother Segura? Well, for me, it was different. They approached me and Joe Rizzo. Joe Rizzo would come in. And so we were just knocking doors. The cops come behind us. Hey, guys, gotta talk to you. We're like, sure, what's up? And he's like, hey, you know, they're, they're pretty much trying to make up crap, saying, hey, you know, you guys need to go. You know, th they already told you to leave. I'm like, nobody told us to leave. We haven't spoken to anybody. We did not speak to a single manager. You didn't even see a manager. You're just, you're, just, you're just winning souls, minding yeah. your own business. So the cops just making stuff up, saying, hey, he identified you guys to the T. They spoke to you. It's like, okay, and who's here's who he actually spoke to. Okay, everybody see what this guy looks like? Okay, and he was yeah. with a 18 year a old woman. woman. It was him and an 18 year old woman. And the cop said that this, this guy, guy, and this guy and this guy met the exact description. Yeah, which was right. a bunch of crap. So then he starts asking me for my ID. And I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm not giving you my ID. You know, and then he goes to the next guy. How about you? You got ID? He's like, yeah, I got ID. You know, can I see it? No, sir. He's like, oh, how about you? He's like, yeah, I got ID. Can I see it? No. Why don't you guys want to show your IDs? Because you're going to put us on a report, make us look stupid. It's going to be hard for us to get work down the road if they do a background investigation. And we're not doing anything wrong. Supreme Court says we're not doing anything wrong. Let me just give an example for you for you doubters out there. This is what it says. Courts have acknowledged that allowing residents and non-residents to make door-to-door -door visits to owners or tenants in private apartment complexes, which is where we were at, it says this, that the tenants, the private complexes, trailer parks, neighborhoods, developments, they're all protected by the First Amendment's uh, free, right of free speech, by the United States Supreme Court. It says that it is not the manager's responsibility to infringe on the tenant's right to choose certainly, you know, not the right to another resident. In other words, it's up to the tenant to decide if they want to talk to us or not. And our policy is simple. They don't want to talk, we don't want to talk. We move on. Yeah, why would we want to talk to somebody who doesn't it's want to dumb. hear the gospel? Even exactly. people that have no soliciting signs, hey, it is what it is. We skip those, just put something on there because we understand that they put it on there. We understand. They're making it clear. They don't want to be bothered. But as far as everybody else, it's not the manager or another tenant, which is the situation in this case. Some tenant got mad, called the cops. I knock all the doors that say no soliciting, and I've got some of them saying. Exactly. Because yeah, that's, that's not soliciting what we're doing. We're not soliciting. Yeah, and I it's tried not... to show them and read them that document. And show yeah, them they didn't want it because it makes them look so, bad. Oh, this is what the, the Supreme Court land. says. Let this is every state. You exactly it literally says it on. is not the responsibility of each, or is it, it is the responsibility of each individual tenant or resident you know, uh, not the complex manager to object to a visit. She can't just decide for everybody. No. And you know what? No. Every one of these apartment complexes that tries to throw us out, we got two people saved that day, four Absolutely. people saved, three people saved. Last week, we, got, last three, week, we, we got, got We got three people saved last week just from knocking about two That apartment things. complex. And people are exactly. often saying, like, wow, thank you so much for coming by. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. some people want us there and some people don't. It's exactly. up to them, the individual. We can't just skip half the population of our city exactly because they live in an apartment complex and just not give them the gospel exactly yeah and they were happy last week that we got him saved. oh yeah oh, it was yeah. ridiculous oh it's the same exact complex the exact same, the same one, exact one. no yeah. complaints nothing at all no. cop shows up makes up crap hey you know you guys were the ones that were spoken to you matched the yeah. description what are you talking about but he recognized me from a previous apartment that I was at so of course it's kind of like my second strike with this officer. So did you match the description of Greg or Catherine? I, because, <laughs> I mean, let's yeah, see, he looks, got like, a, he looks like, got like an a, eighteen year old girl to me. We got yeah. a blonde. We got a, a blonde guy with, <laughs> with blue eyes. Yeah, and, it's a, I'm kind of the opposite <laughs> of that. You know, it was bad. Oh, but obviously man. they got arrested. Our other two soul winners, they're gonna spend the night in jail. One's charged with a felony. Because she was tackled from behind, wasn't even warned. Okay, and then they they charge her with resisting arrest after she's tackled from behind. 
any normal person, if they get tackled from behind, is probably going to freak out or not know what's happening. Oh, yeah, or I would gonna... at least try to defend myself. Like, what's going on? Well, and, and Catherine took some video of that, by the way. She's emailing me the video wow. of, uh, of, of her on the ground getting... And that's ridiculous. And they have to go to court tomorrow, so they have to be in there for an entire day when they could just be cited and released for trespassing. They didn't have to have the felony charge. That's just ridiculous. There's no just, way that, that she's going to be convicted of that felony. That's no insane. No thinking way. It's retarded. But her if, daughter got charged with kind of like messing with an investigation because her purse went everywhere. She was trying to pick it up. So she has to investigation. Like, they have to investigate. Exactly. People are so winning. What is there to investigate? Well, They're out preaching know. the gospel. You tackled her, so she dropped her purse. Her daughter Daughter's picks up the purse. It, and she gets charged with a Oh, you're tampering with evidence because you picked up your mom's purse exactly. after we tackled her. And she has to spend a night in jail and go to court in the morning <laughs> to plead not guilty, which is what she clearly is not guilty of. She's not harassing anybody, hurting anybody. She's knocking doors. Unbelievable. What they were silent partners of all things. Silent partners. Well, and you know, I know that there's a bunch of... Christians out there, a bunch of watered down Christians out there watching this video. Like, why don't you guys just abide by the law, and respect the private property? We did. It's like, hey, this idiot. This is the law, right yeah, here. Yeah, hey, idiot. Read this it. is the law. Talk the to, First talk Amendment's to the law. Number one, and number two is the fact that we're not going to let half of the people Amen. go to hell without even hearing the gospel, because Amen. literally half the population here lives in either an apartment, yep. HOA, or trailer park, or gated community. And you know what? If people don't want to talk, I can't get out of there fast enough. Exactly. Exactly. If they don't want to talk, yeah. all right. Thank you. Have a nice See day. See you later. We'll have a great day. Door. We don't harass people. We're not Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. Hey, you know? before, the, before the words are even done coming out of their mouth, I'm usually already turned on my heels. See ya, because I want to get to the next door where exactly. somebody wants to talk. Exactly. exactly. We don't harass people. You know, you know you're not interested? All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. No we problem. We the next door. We look for those that are. You know, I love it when the door slams in my face because I can just get out of there faster yeah, exactly. and get to the people who want to yeah. talk. Exactly. There's yeah, obviously just a, a hostile bias towards us. I mean, yeah, I, 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 a I'm, female cop more than anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. sure on, on Wednesday when they're out trick or treating, knocking all those doors, they're not going to have any problems with that, you know? When, oh, yeah. Well, well, you well know? yeah. If you it, it, maybe if we were dressed up as the devil yep. asking for candy, we would have had no problem. Exactly. That's not exactly. soliciting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lucky enough, these guys just got released. We <laughs> were able to bring them back. But obviously, I feel bad for the, the other two soul winners that were just charged for stupid stuff. It wasn't well, I mean, hopefully, they're just leaping for joy because great is their sure reward in heaven. Oh, yeah. 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 Exactly. Because I think they had a good attitude about it. No, they definitely did. Yeah. That's why she knew. She knew in her heart she was right. She was defending her constitutional right of free speech. The cop didn't like it, didn't like the attitude. Who cares? You know, enforce the law. If they're too dumb to figure out what the law really says, that's their bad. And if they know what it says and they're still arrested, even worse. Yeah, it's not going to hold up. It's just, they're, they're just, what they're trying to do is just push us around. But guess what? How many times have the cops showed up on us on Wednesday, Soul Winning? We just had 30? the cops. Yep. We just had the cops calling us on Sunday. Yesterday, less than yeah. 24 hours oh, ago. Oh, they just got called on Sunday? We had a, we had a police <laughs> unit show up. And it was it was two ladies. One was pregnant with a big belly. The other yeah. one had a baby in a stroller, and they showed up. Oh man, I'm surprised they didn't send the SWAT team I'm for that. I'm surprised they didn't dangerous. arrest. Wow. Exactly right. One time, my wife was out soul with. Yesterday, now another one today. Yeah, one time my wife was out soul with three ladies, and she wasn't even in an apartment, or HOA or anything. It was just a normal neighborhood, South Phoenix. Five cop cars showed up, and they said, "We got a call that you're handing out anti-Obama literature." And I'm thinking to myself, well, first of all, we've never handed out any yep. political literature. We've only ever handed out stuff that only is about the gospel. Okay. But they said that, and this is like years and years ago. And then I'm thinking to myself, what if we were handing out Anna Obama right. literature? Like, is that against the law? Nope. To hand out literature? Part of the First Amendment, right. I mean, but to send five cop cars on four ladies? It's like, come on. But I've literally, on Wednesdays, over the last several years, probably had the cops called maybe 25, 30 times. But I've never seen anybody arrested. Yep. I think you guys are literally the first ones who've ever actually yep, been arrested. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully this isn't like a sign of things to come. Yeah. But usually the cops show up, and I've even held out my hands to them and said, like, I put my wrist out and said, like, all right, go ahead and arrest me. Arrest me right now. And they never did. But now all this, this woman, I guess, just has dealt with us too many times 
and she just hates Jesus Christ or whatever. So she just, you know, is is trying to make a point. But. I don't even think she she hesitated. I think if me, brother Segura, and Aaron were there for any, uh, any bit longer, they would have arrested us too without a problem. I mean, the cop escorted us out. He walked with yeah. us yeah. until we left the property. He was just behind us the whole time until we left. Well, I went back and screamed at them because, <laughs> well, because when I I got the, I wasn't out soul winning with the group, but I as soon as brother Segura called me, I headed over there. But it, I hit traffic. It took me like a half hour to get yeah. there. So by the time I got there, it was all over. But I just walked up to the cops and I just asked them, you know, what happened? What's going on? You know, and before I even opened my mouth, they're like, oh, this is the pastor. Mm -hmm. So then I said to him, I'm like, hey, you know, I heard that you guys arrested our church members. What's the deal? And they're just like, we can't tell you anything. It's an ongoing investigation. We we can't tell you anything. Crazy. So then I just blew up and just started yelling at them and chewing them out. Yeah, they, yeah, they need to hear it. Exactly. Yeah. Seriously. I, um, I was worried that... Uh, me and Daniel were gonna get out of there and like have to call an Uber and nobody was like gonna know or we were just gonna have to find our way home. Well, that's what Uber's like, for, man. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I remember you hearing hearing you say once that uh, like making a joke about how uh, you know we're the church that'll bail you out. It's true, yeah. yeah like yeah, like true. if, it, I'm glad to if see you that. get fined, we're gonna pay that fine for you, Greg. So th don't worry about that fine, <laughs> Daniel. We got, fine. we got you covered. <laughs> yeah. He was surprised to walk out and see the church van waiting for them. So, yeah, faithful word that, is that the roll. church that bails you out. Yeah. We leave no man behind, buddy. We yeah. had your back. Yeah, we are the church that, that no bails you out are. if you're arrested for soul winning. We never, th you know, we were hoping we would never have to actually nope. make good on that guarantee. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, we're ready to make good on it. So any any yeah. other final closing comments? Nope. Just executing our constitutional right. Forget the constitution. It's our Bible right. It's our biblical exactly. right. So what if they make it against the law to do any soul winning? Are we going to stop? Hell no. No, no, no way. No, sir. We're no never going to stop. No way. Did the apostles nope. stop? Nope. All these little whining Christians who say, nope. oh, you, you got to obey. Really? Is that what the book of Acts is about? Nope. That's not the book of Acts we that I've read. Of ladies, ladies in jail tonight. Yeah. In jail for all you men out there, ladies. And what were they doing? Nothing but inviting people to church. That's all they were doing, and, and it stood up for their rights. And this is what happens. Welcome to 2018. Welcome to the end times. Yeah, and they're just telling about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if anybody didn't want to hear it, it's like, all right, have a good day, see you later. Mom and her 18 year old daughter. Yeah, that's who we got in jail tonight. Unbelievable. All right, guys, keep up the good work out there.